if you know, you know. Now, Jamal Charlo came out and stated that the fight between him and Tony Harrison is on for December 21. Is no respect season. He has no respect for Tony Harrison. Now, he states that because he believed that Tony Harrison pulled out of the last fight with a fake injury. I don't know if it's true or not, but it is what it is. The fight is here, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, I believe Charlo won the previous match between him and Tony Harrison. I just felt that he did more. And the fact that Tony Harrison didn't do enough to be the champion. Don't get me wrong. He landed great jabs throughout the fight. However, it wasn't enough for me to grant him the win. You know, you got to do more in order to beat the champion, in my opinion. That's just how it is in the sport of boxing. And I just believe that Charlo won that match overall. He landed power punches throughout the fight. He outlanded Tony Harrison with power punches. But regardless of that, Charlo has his shot at redemption. And he stated, no respect season. However, in the ring, we'll see if that's the case. In my opinion, he has to fight smart. In the previous fight, when he fought him, uh, he didn't use his jab like he should have. I believe the Charlo brothers have one of the best jabs in boxing. Especially Jamal Charlo. His jab is a power punch, really. He knocked down and hurt J-Rock William with the jab. He badly hurt J-Rock William with the jab, which was shocking to me. So I believe Jamal Charlo has a great jab also. So he should utilize his jab throughout the fight to set up power punches. In my opinion, when he fought Tony Harrison the last time, he was kind of telegraphing certain shots. So uh, he shouldn't look to knock out Tony Harrison. Just let the knockout come to you. You know, go to the body, break your man down, let the punches fly. Don't telegraph anything. Just go from point A to point B straight right away. You know, don't pull back with your shoulder because, you know, little things like that, a fighter like Tony Harrison could take advantage of. And he did take advantage of those moments. That's why you see him countering with the jab very smartly. And Tony Harrison is a good fighter also. So a lot of people slept on him. So it's going to be a great fight. And maybe even a better build-up to this fight than their previous fight. Because in the rematch, during the press conference, they were talking that shit. And it was very entertaining. And I just can't wait for the face-to-face -face if they do have one. Because it's going to be super electric. And they have bad blood. And they have real beef going on. And neither of them is a chicken. One be repping a lion, the other be repping a tiger. So we will see who is the king of the jungle. So may the best man win. I will keep you upgraded when it comes to this fight in particular because that's one fight I am looking forward to. And I don't know if it's the main event or if Lyra is going to replace Heard versus J-Rock William as the main event, which that's another great fight. So uh, subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to the old media or the casual fans. Follow Luna Tune Boxing on Instagram for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV on Instagram. All the links will be in the description box below. Subscribe to Aki TV on YouTube. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live because you best believe we do. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.